Hello, Baseheads. Got another question here. Let me see if I can make this a little bit bigger. This is from uh, Temple, Georgia. He asks, speaking of space, what is the difference in output with two subs in a smaller than recommended enclosure versus just one of those subs in a one and a half times larger than recommended enclosure, assuming all other conditions remain same-ish? I actually did this uh, last year. I, I tested this. Um, let me show you. Oh, see if I can maybe show you what subs I did this with. I ran this with Phi. Phi, by the way, I, I, I'm not affiliated with them at all. Uh, they're made in America stuff and they just make really good stuff. And what's nice is they don't, they don't have middlemen. So it's not like they're selling to another company and then selling to you. They sell directly to you. And so the prices are relatively good. Uh, anyways, this is at the MT. I had two 15s MT from Phi. And these are four inch, basically replaced their team series. 4,500 watts RMS. I mean, they're, they're just beasts. And the 15, go right down here, says three to five cubic foot. So I did two in a six cubic foot box, and then I did one in a six cubic foot box. Don't worry, I was running a fraction of the power these can handle, so I wasn't going to hurt it in any way. Uh, in the spirit of that, I... I, I tried to look up another Phi option. I, I found the Phi Audio X15 at basically the same recommended box size, and we're going to play with that in here. The MT wasn't in the speaker light database, and um, sometimes it, it takes a little bit of time to try to input it, so I'm just going to do this for you. So we got one of these 15s right now, and the enclosure... Let me see if I can move this over so you can see that. There we go. Six cubic foot, and I tuned it to 32 hertz. This is ex exactly what I had in my car. Uh, 32 hertz tuning with six cubic foot. So we're going to draw that with one of these. And this is the transfer function. I'm actually going to scroll down to the SPL. This is what you want when you're comparing multiple subs versus like one sub. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing, except I'm going to change this to two speakers and draw. Okay, so this is what speaker box light shows as uh, the differences. And let me see if I can get in here. It looks to be about, so 1 dB is what they're saying. You know, it's about 1 dB is the absolute peak difference. And that's within a very, very narrow range. Do you actually have any sort of advantage with the one? That's what they say. Uh, I found it to be very different in my car. But this is the modeling software. And, and I found modeling software uh, in my personal applications to be, like I said, kind of off at times. So I, I kind of use it to play with it and get good, good ideas from stuff. But once I throw something in my car, I know it's going to be drastically different. And that was the case with this. Now, I, uh, my 115 was 3 dB down. So I was doing a 144 dB with my 115. The 215s, I was, uh, doing 147, but they were getting 50% more power because my amp was wired down more. So there was about a dB and a half difference. But I'll tell you, the most important difference was not what was showing on the meter, but was the experience. You definitely had more punch and more kick. Even at the same volume level, you had more impact from the 215s versus the 115. The cone area, there's just something about it that's just uh, kind of magical at times. And it definitely uh, was a, a much better experience, much funner. You didn't have to be as loud for kind of the same overall vibrations and, and kick in your chest. But realistically, if you look at this, you probably want to um, go with the green. So the, the 215s, even on this model, 
are let's look at uh, let's look at 40 hertz so look at that you're almost a db and a half louder with the 215s 50 hertz you are you know significantly louder it's almost 3 db even down here at 20 hertz look at that you are <laughs> you're you're quite a bit louder so the the, the 215s overall absolutely i would rather shove um 215s into a spot that's too small so i'd rather use too many subs in a spot that's too small versus one sub in a spot that's you know plenty big now if this if this was different in fact let's try this really quick i'm going to remove these and we're going to try recommended size and we're just going to see what the graph shows us for recommended size so we're going to go down to four cubic feet because it was between three and five and we're going to try let's go down here let's try one sub first and then we'll go down to the SPL and then we'll try two okay so there's there's the problem once you start dealing with boxes that are just just way too small look at this below 40 you, you want to go with the one sub pretty much uh, which I, most people really like their their base in that range so yeah if you're talking about just perfect for one sub versus way too small for two subs go with the one sub but if you're talking about 50 percent larger for one sub versus uh more about third smaller for two subs go with the two subs that's that's just my personal opinion okay let's do this one more time but we'll do it with a sealed box so there's enclosure type closed and we will do 4.5 cubic feet and we'll go down the speaker and let's just select one here and we'll draw that all right perfect and now we're going to go and we'll do two speakers right there two speakers let me make sure my enclosure is the same perfect let's go ahead and draw that okay so this is what it's saying is the difference between a sealed uh, with basically four and a half cubic feet for one speaker versus a sealed for two. It does show that the sealed for two is quite a bit louder. This is something I have not tested though. So I can't say this is going to be completely true. I do know these, these higher numbers will absolutely favor the two. They're going to love a sealed box with you know kind of a smaller space the lower numbers tend to suffer anyways guys i hope this helps out this has been awesome i hope you learned something and i will catch you online next time cheers